How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Bobby. I am the Emperor of the Universe. At least that's what I'm calling it, right? That's my title. That's my handle. Um, I want to talk about something very important. I started this channel basically so that my grandchildren and my children, whoever they are, wherever they are, would know more about me personally. Because I didn't know at the beginning of this little journey of mine if I was going to be at the end of it, right? If I was going to survive a month. I mean, the fear porn was cranked super high at that point. You know, they literally locked down everything. This was right before the elections, of course. They locked down everything. Scared the shit out of everybody, and yet the riots were going on and all that shit, but it was the most bizarre shit ever. It was like, yeah, 2020 was probably the most shittiest year I've probably went through in my life. Just watching, and not, not so much me personally, but just watching the world literally just fall flat on its face. And... Uh, I mean, there's so much, there's so many aspects to this, what we're going through right now, the spiritual aspect, the scientific aspects of what's going on. I mean, there's just so many weird shit, dimension shifting, there's things that, you know, I'm not going to go into that because that'll just hurt your brain, right? I don't know. Being part of the Rebel Alliance is a very interesting thing. I didn't realize I would be a part of it. I don't like, you know, being part of things. I always find they end up being a disappointment. So I'm usually better off alone. But then I find myself being a part of this group, this community. And it was a secret community in a way that it was going against the Empire. I mean, if you're, if you're going to talk about QAnon and... You know, all the special ops and all the hackers and all the people out there that were working together to try to figure out what was really going on in the world. You know, despite all the intel agencies, the five eyes and all that, just shutting down hard on everybody. And then, of course, you know, man. We knew something was coming. But we didn't realize how many operatives were on the inside that were really fucking corrupt. And there were deep state scum. I mean, that was the hardest part of for QAnon was people did not know who to trust or what to trust because half of the half of the stuff was disinformation. The other half was just overly exuberant, you know, you know, operatives on the side of the alliance. Just you know, but yeah, the you know, the, like I said. The deep state, it, that swamp was thick and deep, and it pretty much encompassed everybody. I mean, all, like I said, all the intel agencies are um, basically compromised. When I mean compromised, it doesn't, it doesn't belong to the American people. The, that illusion is gone, period. The people who I represent, I represent every man, woman, and child on this planet, let alone the, the America. And that's basically what it comes down to. The, the Rebel Alliance isn't just of some, some geeks in their basement, you know. This is the, the global alliance of humanity that doesn't want to be enslaved. They want to be free. They want to have three, free thought, free movement, free freedom to worship in any way they want without any fear of retribution at all. Vote any way they want without any fear of retribution. Retribution, excuse me. To live any way they want without fear of retribution or punishment. So, I mean, we've been hit hard that, you know, like I said, we were, the betrayals went, I mean, Pence, talk about ultimate, right? But that was like, you couldn't trust anybody. It was hard to find, know who to trust. I don't know if you noticed when Trump first got elected, he wasn't supposed to win. And that was just a fluke. Because that many people bought, didn't buy the bullshit. I mean, it was 97% Hillary Clinton was awesome and Trump was evil. 
And people were just like, dude, how is that even rationally impossible? Especially when you know the history of Hillary and all the other scumbags that are running the deep state. So basically, yeah, that was a fluke. Everybody, nobody expected him to win. And when he did, it was like even the deep state were fucking scrambling. Within a, within a month, they were already looking at investigating him. And just in the rest of it was at nauseum till the end of his, you know, you know, to the last election. It was just basically nothing but nonstop investigation on him, him being a Russian spy and all this other bullshit. I mean, come on now. So here I am in the wilds. And it's funny because you can't talk to your family and friends because half of them are fucking clueless. They don't even know what's going on. So you talk to the people you do know. You, and then, of course, the deep state just completely takes over everything. I mean, this it's like... My own phone, this phone is, is T-Mobile is globalist. It's one world, new world order fucking controlled. All of it is. Pretty much Facebook, YouTube, all of it. It's controlled by them. They don't, they control everything. That's why I got such wonderful views. And so many people watch my stuff. It's a joke, but at the same time, it'll, it'll get out of it or it won't. I mean, my job is to do this. This is my job. Is to talk, speak truth to power. You know, to do what I know. Right now, I'm a, I'm Ronan, and there's a lot of us out there. And we're all wondering what's going to happen next, because we were we. It's kind of like, yeah, it totally feels like after the. I hate to bring get, get geeky and do sci-fi, but it feels like the second the Clone Wars and this, and basically, when the, when the Jedi, um, you know. The, Jedi Temple and the school was basically destroyed and all the people were killed and all the Jedi were hunted down and the ones that were left were just hiding in, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda hiding in the swamp. That's what it feels like. We're just, all the Jedi are just scattered. We're still out there. We're just functioning, but we're just, it's like wondering what's going to happen next. And it, it goes from the scientific to the spiritual because we're all working for the light. Unless you're work as evil scumbag, if you're in a cop or a security agent of any capacity, your job is protecting the the people, protecting the citizenry. Period. Not deceiving them, not controlling them, not punishing them with sticks and guns and bullets and bullshit. Protecting them, and that's what we are. We're protectors. We're not. Yeah, we're not torturers. We're scattered to the wind. We are Ronin. But we're not giving up either. So. It's just weird. I know it's just this tender moment between us. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's getting, it, it's the deception is, is real and it's big and people are waking up. And my job at some point was to go into the desert and regroup and refocus my energy in a more spiritual way. I didn't realize I was going to be that, you know, I thought I was just, to be honest, um, I thought I was going to be a foot soldier, maybe, you know, commanding squads or some shit. I don't know. But at one point I gave up all my guns. I, I sold all my weapons and I, I realized at that point I was going to be a, it was going to be more spiritual. It's going to be, I was going to have to use magic. I was going to have to use my power to, sway and to, to enlighten and to make people believe the truth over the, the deception. These, oh, here's the thing. Media, these are the same scumbags for years that are pushing that Trump was a, you know, whatever. It's just, they're evil. They push all the wrong people. Pretty much everybody in power is a corrupt um, criminal. Pretty much. It's really sad, but true. I mean, you'd have to start from scratch. You'd have to go back to find some Joe Schmo garbage collector who would be more honest and more would work harder as a governor or a mayor or a town supervisor than any of these scumbags that, that stand up and look like car salesmen with their suits on and shit, Men, male or female. They all look like cookie-cutter bullshit. So it's almost like you need to just wipe, just get rid of them all, tell them to go, you know, audit every one of them. Make sure all their bank accounts are frozen and give them a small pension for their bullshit unless they need to go to jail. And then just start hiring anybody because I guarantee you people are so hungry for truth and justice that they will take the effort and go and do the job. Just anybody. 
You can pick anybody out of the street, and they will do a more honest job of, of running this country than these scumbags. It's, it's that simple. <sighs> so anyways, I'm part of the Rebel Alliance. I am Ronan, but I have hope. I have a new hope. Oh, that was so Star Wars. Anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. And we're, we're going to win. The Empire will fall. Can't wait till that Death Star just... Philosoph philosophically speaking, of course. Don't want anybody to get hurt. No shrapnel. We're going for love and light, people, right? Anyway, well, I love you. Have a wonderful day, and there's kind of the ocean.